I'm a family nurse practitioner, and as a family nurse practitioner, I look at I look at things a little bit differently. I look at the medical side um, of the patient and how to provide that kind of care. But as a DMP, I, I, I'm looking more at the, the bigger processes and the evidence-based practices. And if there's a process that needs to be changed, if we see a clinical issue, it's our obligation to change that and to make patient care quality is what's imperative. We have two tracks. We have the education, we have the leadership track, and we have the clinical track. And I am currently on the, I'm on the clinical track because I am a nurse practitioner. And we look at the specifics. Um, everything, all the classes that we've taken really are important. We've had things like epidemiology and we've had evidence-based practice. Uh, and one that really sticks out to me is my population health class. Um, because I'm geared toward population health, I work in the community, I want to bring health care to the community. And I had the opportunity last summer to go with our with some of our population health class members and the professor to, to China. We did a partnership with UT Tyler and Shandong University. And we went for almost two weeks and we toured hospitals and clinics and we even did an in-home visit. And so that just promotes collaboration between our countries. In the DMP, we have what's called a scholarly project. And that requires planning. That, the whole project requires planning. We start with a question, and you look at a question in your practice or in your clinical setting, and you find something that can be addressed. And so there's a process by which we look at the evidence, and then we look at how to research the evidence and how to implement the evidence. And so the whole process is what is the heart of the, the DMP. My scholarly project I am working on in my, in my clinic, the clinic where I'm, I work at now. Um, it's a 200% below poverty level clinic. It's a free clinic. And I saw a need in the clinic to assess Hispanic females and diabetic feet and because that is not something people usually address. So having, the, having addressed this process, I'm able to look at that issue and then try to implement a protocol that will be followed by the providers at the clinic. So that it's not just teaching it to the patient. If I teach it to the provider, it's a project that will continue. The biggest skill and knowledge that I've developed in the DMP is the leadership skill. We've looked at a different, we look at each other's strengths and we look at uh, the team strengths. And when you have the ability to look at the strengths, you can co-lead. And that helps, you know, everybody's perspective on the team, you know, so that you can get, everybody can be on the same page and have a, and have a common goal in mind. We were asked this semester if we were interested in, in doing a fellowship uh, with the Texas Nursing Association. Several of us applied and we were accepted. There's 10 of us in the state of Texas. And we were accepted to be policy fellows down in Austin, and we work on different committees. My current committee is, is the Full Practice Authority Committee, and my mentor is the chair of the committee. So we have been meeting and talking about this issue since September. And we have, I've been to Austin several times, and I've met with various uh, legislative bodies that we've met with the House and the Senate talked with House representatives and, and representatives from the Senate, and I actually have spoken in person and gone to the office of the state rep the representative, Stephanie Click, who is um, the chairperson of the committee. Uh, she's actually drafted the bill that's on the floor right now, House Bill 1792. So we are pushing for full practice authority in the state of Texas for nurse practitioners. I would not have had that opportunity if I hadn't been a DMP.